Hey guys, so today we're gonna take a look at the January update for Battlefield 5. But before we go further, I just want to mention that at the time of me publishing this video, the update is not yet released, so all of the changes we're gonna take a look at are not in the game yet, although they will be by the January 17th because that's when the second chapter of Tides of War starts, so yeah, we should have the patch released by then. Of course, if nothing goes wrong, but let's hope it doesn't. Alright, so let's get to it. What are the most important changes in the update? First, we got the time to death experience changes. Basically what DICE is doing here is they're tweaking the kill cam so that you actually know which of the enemies killed you after you die. As of right now, before the update, you only get the enemy highlighted if they're behind cover and it also works up to a certain distance. After the update, it will work on all of the distances and also you will be able to see the name of the enemy who actually kills you. In addition to it, they're also fixing the incoming damage indicators so that they display the information properly now. When it comes to the vaulting mechanic, and if you ever played Battlefield 5 before the update, you know that vaulting is quite a bit of an issue right now, so in order to improve it, DICE is changing the vaulting mechanic a little bit and now there is two things that are different, or will be different in case you're watching the video before the update was released. You will no longer actually have to vault or trigger random vaulting if you try to run up a steep hill and you press space because you want to jump up, even though there is no object in front of you, sometimes you would vault in the current state of the game. And also, second thing, they improve the detection of when you actually want to vault. I can bet that every single person who's watching this video right now had at least one situation in Battlefield 5 where they wanted to, or you guys wanted to just vault through the window, jump inside, and it didn't work. You were just jumping and not doing anything, just jumping against the wall. When it comes to the movement changes, we only got one, but I think it is still important enough to put it in the video. Basically, the double tap slide animation will now work more consistently. Before the update, it was depending a lot on the turning while sprinting before you actually triggered the sliding, and now it is not dependent on it as much, although you can just run left, right, left, right and keep sliding, it doesn't work like that. As for the vehicle changes, you can now take down enemy planes with one shot from the main cannon if you're using a tank. Before the update, I'm sure you guys know, there was no only in Battlefield moments because you are dealing like 45 or 55 damage, depending on the plane type, if you shot them directly with the main cannon in the tank. Now, you can just one-shot them no matter what HP they have. Other than that, we don't really have any crucial changes to the vehicles. Planes got buffed a little bit and now it takes 15 seconds to resupply rockets, previously it was 30 seconds before the update, and 20 seconds for the bombs to replenish after you resupply them, previously it was also 30. It's not that big of a deal, again, in my opinion planes are still underpowered after December update, which nerfed them just too much. When it comes to the audio changes, I'll be honest, in general they're not interesting, apart from one and that being Stuka's siren will now be louder on the ground and a bit quieter if you're in the cockpit. As for the additional fixes they implemented, they actually fixed an issue which I talked about in one of my videos where you could start spinning the turret of the vehicle really fast and you would blow up the vehicle by doing so, and also if you now decide to spawn in the vehicle and it gets destroyed when you're spawning into it, you're no longer gonna fly under the map. Or fly through the map? Or fall through the map and start flying under the map. Yeah, that's how it is. As for the weapon changes, and here is where it gets interesting, all of the SMGs are better across the board and you will basically be able to output more damage more consistently at medium distances. I don't necessarily want to go over every single SMG and talk about the specific changes done to individual weapons because that would be simply boring, but in general they are more accurate and it's easier to shoot on medium distances. You're basically more effective with those. When it comes to the Assault class, the M1907 no longer gets the specialization for the extended magazine and instead it is applied by default. Also, the M1A1 carbine got a little bit nerfed and now has more vertical recoil. 
and at the very end of all of the changes, we got one significant improvement in the audio. Footsteps are now louder. Yes, finally, we're gonna be able to hear footsteps. Well, at least according to the patch notes, but I hope they're gonna work. And those would be all of the most important changes that got applied with the update. Now, if you guys are interested in the nitty gritty things that got implemented or changed, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description leading to the full patch notes. There's quite a lot of those, but realistically most of them are minor fixes which would make the video 20 minutes long and it would be super uninteresting. Also, we got tons of new content coming in the second chapter of Tides of War, which is starting in 3 days. We have new weapons, new game modes, new missions, co-op mode, we even got a trailer for the whole thing and additionally we got the trailer or a teaser for the Firestorm Battle Royale mode and it turns out you can drive tractors in it. I very much recommend you guys check this one out, it is on the official Battlefield channel on YouTube, just type Battlefield in the search bar, or I'm actually gonna leave it down in the description too, so yeah, go watch it if you're interested and I'm sure you will be, so go for it. And as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the Battlefield!